So hi everybody. Um, my name is Ben Gramico. I am from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. We train and certify inspectors all over the world. We're the world's largest organization of residential and commercial property inspectors. And tonight or today's webinar is a live webinar, free live online webinar. And we do these about every month. And this one is about the home energy score. And we're going to go over what the home energy score is and how you as an inspector can make money providing these home energy scores to your clients. And uh, some logistics, you should be able to see me. I cannot see you. You should be able to hear me. I can't hear you. But if you wanted to ask a question, you can um, at the bottom right screen. Bottom, there's a field where you can type in your questions. Feel free to type in your questions. Uh, we have a couple hundred students registered for this webinar. So I'll try to get to your questions. But let's go over what the home energy score is all about. This is a score right there. You're looking at it. And it's generated with software that you are provided to generate a score. So you inspect a home and you give a score on that home. And it's a score of one to 10. And this is a sample. So this home scored a three. But the cool thing is it tells you what it could score. If you did all of the um, improvements, if you followed all the recommendations and those recommendations are generated by the US Department of Energy, the home energy score itself is generated by the US Department of Energy. The recommendations come from the US Department of Energy. Doesn't come from you, doesn't come from InterNACHI, comes from the US Department of Energy. And so, let's take a look at the home energy score. If you'd like to be a home energy score assessor, that's what we call it. So, the problem is that our homes waste energy. So there's a problem, and you can be part of the solution. Americans consume more energy than anyone else on the planet, about 20% of the total global demand. And our buildings, our homes in which we live, devour 40% of all U.S. energy and 75% of all U.S. electricity. And a lot of that energy is wasted. There's about 200 million homes in the United States most of them, a lot of them, 100 million, were built in the 80s and 90s, let's just say, rounding the numbers. And we, in the 1980s and 90s, we built homes as fast as we could without any regard to energy efficiency. So there's the opportunity, there's the problem. You could be a solution to the problem because our homes waste energy. And if our homes waste energy, then homeowners are wasting money. You can help them save energy and therefore save money. You can score every home in your market. You can show everyone how easy it is to save energy and therefore money. The home energy score is a service you can provide to clients in your neighborhood without any regard to a real estate transaction. It doesn't have to be any real estate transaction. So personally, I'm becoming a home energy score assessor. I'm going to be qualified. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk down the streets of my neighborhood and provide home energy scores. I'm going to knock on the doors, introduce myself if I don't know the neighbor already, give them a card, tell them about the score. If they're not home, I'm going to hang a door hanger. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do about 20 or 30 just for free. And then I'm going to have a party. We're all going to get together and we're going to go over our scores. And those folks are going to start talking about the home energy score and then how I do them, right? Get the ball rolling because right now there isn't a whole big demand for energy inspections or energy reports. That's the truth. That's why home energy auditors have been funded by the government and tax money for decades and utilities are involved in that as well. But, 
we have a huge client base as home inspectors, and we already know how to inspect a home. And we're already gathering information about home energy issues, like insulation. So this could be an additional service that you provide to clients, existing clients, or new clients, or your entire neighborhood. So you can provide this service without any regard to real estate transactions. And that's really important because it's not dependent upon the real estate market. Real estate market fluctuates. You have to diversify your services in order to make a great living. This is one of the services you can provide at any time to anyone in the United States. The score is similar to a car's miles per gallon rating, and it provides a score from 1 to 10 and recommendations generated by the U.S. Department of Energy. It's not generated by the score, isn't generated by the Internet or you. The score isn't um, uh, it, the, the recommendations aren't generated by you or InterNACHI. It comes from the U.S. Department of Energy. Everything comes from the U.S. Department of Energy. And it shows homeowners how they can easily save energy and therefore money. And they can also compare their home score with any other home in their neighborhood. And it takes only about 30 minutes to do. That's the sweet part. As a home inspector, you have the skill sets that are perfect for performing a home energy score. It's actually quite easy to do because as a home inspector, we have thousands of things to inspect as well as conditions. We have to evaluate conditions. We have to look for anomalies, things that look unsafe, things that appear, conditions conducive to mold growth, let's say. That's very difficult to find. A home energy score is very easy. There's about 40 things you inspect. It's basically measuring them, measuring the thickness of the insulation, measuring the square footage of the house, getting the date, estimated date of the appliance, etc. And we'll show you that. So it only takes you a few minutes, 30 minutes, let's say, 45. And it's up to you whether you want to give that service away, add value to your home inspection service, or sell it, sell that service. It's up to you what price it is. Because the software that generates the home energy score is free, and the training that you need that are, that's required is free and online. Well, you can do just about anything. You could give it away, but add value to your existing service. Qualified, qualified inspectors will be provided the 3D house training and the free software to produce home energy scores. And there are no costs or fees for qualified inspectors to participate in the program. To become qualified, here's the bullet list. You have to be a member of InterNACHI. You have to join InterNACHI because that's how we get to train and certify and qualify you. All that training is online. If we can put it online, we're going to make it free for our members. So that training is on. So you have to be a member of InterNACHI. You have to join InterNACHI and then become a home energy inspector, which is a certification. We have over 30 of them. And there are the home energy inspector certification is free and online. So you have to be a home energy inspector, a home inspector, and then additional training about energy on top of that. And then you have to complete the 3D house training, which is online and free, and also participate in a quality assurance program, which means you hook up with another home energy score assessor, two more, so you have a little team. And you check to make sure that each one of you is doing a good job. And we have a system for that in place. You just have to participate in that. Um, I would hook up with somebody who wants to help me in our areas and won't charge me. <laughs> I won't charge them. They won't charge me. So still, we're trying to make it really low cost, free program that you can um you can participate in and then okay so you're trained qualified to do a score ready to go where's the marketing we have marketing samples for you I would contact InterNACHI's marketing team to design customized marketing materials for this new service that you're providing you could I would do door hangers for sure so call up Jessica director of marketing in InterNACHI have her design a nice customized door hanger with 
a description of the service and your name and contact information on it and start walking down the street and do, put a thousand out. See what you get back. Maybe this works in your market. Maybe it doesn't. Since there's no cost, no investment to get into it, uh, you do have to have uh, a tape measure. That's your cost. That's your investment cost. Um, you can give it away. It could be a huge hit, maybe a total dud. Don't know what it's like in your area. Maybe homeowners are thinking about saving energy and saving money. What if you could tell your clients, all of your existing clients, if you're a home inspector, you have existing clients, you can tell all of them, let's say you have a thousand clients that you've performed home inspection before, for, and um, you tell them of this new service. You can come over, less than 30 minutes, you get a home energy score, I can save you $500 on average. Here's a, a sample. So you can take a look at the sample marketing pieces that we have. I think we have two here. It tells about the home energy score. It says, how does your home compare with your neighbors? You put your logo there and your name and contact information. And if you want to participate, just email me. You'll get an email from Michelle. She'll hook you up with the training. She'll confirm that you are an InterNACHI member and you are a certified home energy inspector. Two certifications we need from you. And then you're ready to go. Uh, Chris Hermiller just yesterday became a, um, a recent home energy score assessor. Let's go to the training. So the training is really cool. I like it a lot. The training is actually hosted, developed and hosted by the U.S. Department of Energy and they did a fantastic job. It's a 3D house training. I'll show it to you. And they put it online and free. Congratulations. Really great job. So let's take a look. Let's see if I can get there. Hope you all can see that. Um, Charles asks, how long is the certification training? Um, it's learn at your pace. So um, you have to be certified by InterNACHI as a home energy, a home inspector. And that takes about three weeks of training. The home energy inspector certification is another week, I would say. But it's learning your pace, so you can go as fast as you want to get certified. Um, so let's take a look at the training. This is the 3D training. Hope you all can see that. Um, if you can, type it in that you can into your uh, question field so I know everyone is getting, seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah? Okay. So um, here's the 3D training. Okay, good. Thanks, David, Dale, James. So you walk around and you take a look at this home and you have tools. So I'm going to pull out my measuring tape. I actually walk around um, with the measuring tape engaged so I can see their measurements of everything. And there's a house. This house is a rancher. And you can jump around. So you could go um, to the front. You can go to the back. There's the back as a deck. And you can see that the um, house is on a crawl space. There's some crawl space fence. Every window is measured for you. You don't have to measure the windows. Can't really see beyond the, the yard. Um, if you wanted to jump on the roof, you can jump on the roof, take a look around. Um, the color of the roof is significant to the energy use of the home. So if it's dark, it absorbs more energy. Um, we could jump to the crawl space. And in a crawl space, you can walk around. There's ductwork, not insulated, not sealed. There's the vents. See, in a home inspection, this would take us uh, a long time because we're looking for structural problems and water and termites and things like that, water leaks. But in a home energy score, we're just going through and grabbing some. It's really an assessment. We're grabbing the assets, um, the, the data of the assets. What kind of assets does the home have? Um, what kind of heating system, cooling system? And what is the age and condition of those appliances? So um, here... Uh, we have a train unit. It's an electric heater. Um, there's the date for train. 
it's 2008, and you're actually taught how to um, date any um, heating or cooling appliance through the system. So the training um, is really awesome. Oh, wait, go back to the crawl space. So you enter this data into the report, and um, it's part of the home energy score. You have to gather that data from all the appliances. And there's the hot water tank, electric hot water tank. And it will tell you the year. You enter that into the report software and to the size, and that's about it. The type, year, condition, size. And condition means um, has it been maintained. And then also you have to measure the thickness. So I'm going to grab my, my ruler here. And I have to go to a certain hot spot in the training, and that is the insulation that's red. And I click the insulation, and there's the ruler. It's kind of dark in the crawl space, but I can see it's seven inches thick. And I record all this data actually on my little clipboard. So we have some general information that you can get from your neighbor or the real estate listing. And it was built in 1959, and you just enter it, 1959. And this is the training, but it's very similar to the software. The number of bedrooms. Hmm, the number of bedrooms. I don't know the number of bedrooms. Where do I find that information? Well, in the training, it's this little guy. Oh, let's put away our roar. So in the training, um, we're giving these um, like architectural drawings. Very simple. Uh, and I see that there's two bedrooms. So I go back, enter this in. We're not going to do the whole house. But I just want to show you. You just enter this information in. Interior floor, interior floor to ceiling height. Hmm, how do I find that? Well, let's jump to the main floor. Put our clipboard away. Uh, pull out our measuring tape. And all the measurements are there. Um, there's the bathroom. There's the laundry, utility room. There's the kitchen. There's the back double doors. There's the master bedroom. There's that other bedroom. I see the thermostat for the heating system. There's the front door. Yep, it's pretty cool, 3D. And there's our measurement of the ceiling height, so it's nine feet tall. And also in this corner, there's a window air conditioner. And that also gets counted as an asset of the home. Because this is the only way that the home is air conditioned. So this is the training, right? You go through this type of training, and you score these homes correctly. There's a bunch of training scenarios. And if you can do this correctly, then you get to move to um, get to you have a bunch of training that's available, different homes. Different types of homes. This is a rancher here, one story. There's a very big modern home. There's a town home. So the home energy score works on these types of homes. And then if you're good at that, at the training, then you can take the practical test. And you have to get an 80% or better on the practical test. And then there's a multiple choice exam, a quick one. And then that's it. You're a, a score assessor. So let's go back here. There's the simulation popping up. And um, also, there's a calculator. If you wanted to um, add up all the windows, you have to add up all the windows. So you have like two by, two by three windows, and there's four of them on the front of the house. And there's a four by three window, and there's two of them on the back of the house, and you add up the square footage. It's basically just a lot of measuring. You do some room lengths, so it's this living, this bedroom is 10 by 10. And what else can I show you? There's some information about um, how to score the, um, the house according to some general rules, how to measure a room. There's other measurements, like there's a compass. So you turn the compass. So that the N is on the red mark, and you get to figure out which way, which direction the front door is facing. That's the front door. It's facing west. Um, the way that a house faces the sun has an effect on um, the amount of energy that that house uses. 
And there's other cool things like um, there's a tool, it's like a stud finder. So you click the stud finder tool and you hit a wall and it tells you information about this wall. Let's see if I can get there a little bit better. Mm. So it's 16 inches on center. And there's also information um, here. So if you wanted to do, um, let's take a look at the systems and there's additional tr training that pops up to the right. So if you want to do heating efficiency, um, there are these links for more information on how to score the home properly, how to inspect the home. And it teaches you about high efficiency, how to identify a high efficiency unit, medium efficiency, lower units, and how to use the um, efficiency calculators that we have, and how to date any heating system or cooling system according to the manufacturer's codes. So there's a wealth of information here. There's a wealth of information within the training modules. And the 3D system is really amazing. And um, it was done very well. And it's online and free. But you have to participate. Oh, let's check out the attic. So I don't know if you can see that, but you spin around in the attic space, take a look. And what you want to do is you look for how well the insulation is installed. Um, that has a great effect on, uh, I see some open spaces there. So I would say this is fair, fairly installed. Um, this has an effect on its efficiency. Um, there's an attic hatch over here with no insulation and it represents about 5% of the square footage. That is a hole in the insulation of the house, in the ceiling. And just that really small hole that's not insulated drops down the average efficiency of the entire floor of the attic by a considerable amount. So if you measure 10 inches thick of insulation, you would think R25 if it's fiberglass. But if there's a small hatch that's uninsulated, the average weighted value of the efficiency of that insulation in the attic floor is dropped down. It's like 12, R12, because there's just an enormous amount of energy that's wasted through that uninsulated hatch. And since it's not sealed, it's essentially open. So it's an uninsulated open hatch. Very small, but it's wasting an incredible amount of conditioned air. And when you waste conditioned air, you're wasting energy. And when you waste energy, you waste money. And there's your opportunity to educate your clients, your homeowners, your neighbors about how easy it is to improve the energy efficiency of their home, especially if it's an older home. There's probably a lot of opportunities. And by doing so, by following the recommendations made in the Home Energy Score report, developed by the Home Energy, um, U.S. Department of Energy. They can save energy and therefore save money. Um, they can save, you know, it could be, uh, you have to run a few samples, but let's say you find out that they could run, they could save on average $500. I would put that in a marketing flyer with a little disclaimer. Not every home can save that much money, but 500 bucks, I could take my family of five on a really nice vacation over the weekend. I mean, that's really nice. 500 bucks, I'll take that. And you could tell, send that message out in your neighborhood. And again, the home energy score has nothing to do with the real estate transaction. It all depends on how much you want to fill up your uh, calendar, your schedule. So the home energy score, you're not going to get rich on it. But you could fill up open spots in your inspection calendar. It's not dependent upon a real estate transaction. It's all local information. And um, you could sell it or give it away and add value to your existing service. So there's a lot of things you could do. And all of the marketing could be designed by InterNACHI for free for you. We can customize all of your marketing materials. Let's see. Uh, we have a couple questions here. Um, Rob says, I had a couple agents tell me the energy report can be a deal breaker for the home sales and not to include it with my inspections. How would you handle that? Especially if the customer asked to include a home energy report in the inspection.
because they see it on our website. Oh, I could care less what a real estate agent thinks of me. That's how I handled my business. My client is paying me for my professional opinion and I don't hold any punches. I just smile. So if there's a problem, oh, there's, there's a lot of structural damage. Oh, the deck is falling off the house. I tend to smile when I say those things because I know that my client's heart has already been sold on the home. If this is a real estate transaction, I'm doing a home inspection, they're going to buy that home. They've already fallen in love with it. In my experience, there's hardly anything I could say that will kill a deal. But real estate agents have this idea. Their whole goal is to get to the closing, you know? So um, that's a, it's in conflict. I, my interest is it for my client and make sure that I educate my client. I'm not selling a home. I am reporting on the conditions I observe and deem material deem to be a major defect. I'm trying to give that information. And I think I had one client that bailed out on a home because of my report. And that was in 13 years, 10,000 inspections. Not a bad record. I'm not really worried about what other real estate agents think. And remember, this home energy score can be done to your next door neighbor. In fact, I would do your entire neighborhood. All the homes you can see, score them. Practice on them. Give them away. Start the conversation with your neighborhood about how to save energy, how to save money. Charles asks, if I'm already an international member, then basically take the government self-paced training, pass and receive certification from Internachi or the Fed. Yeah, so if you're already an international member, you have to be a certified home inspector. That's the CPI logo to be certified. Go through your certification requirements. And then Michelle, you email Michelle. Michelle will tell you the extra, I think there are four or five courses on home energy. You have to take those. That, be, that makes you a home energy inspector. We agreed with the DOE that only Internet G certified home energy inspectors could do home energy scores once they are qualified. So certified in, home inspector, certified energy inspector through Internet G. And then we'll send you the free online training that's hosted by the Department of Energy. You go through that. You take a couple... Um, you have to score a challenge home, a, a, a unique home. You have to pass that with 80%, take another test, and you're ready to go. You can do a home energy score immediately. All online, all free. David loves it, thinks this is really super. I uh, need to find a way to do this for homes since in some ways I do this all the time for commercial buildings. This is really interesting. Yeah. Um, and you could do just about any home. Um, there are a few restrictions um, on the home energy score. And there's also one for commercial as well that's coming out. I can tell you about that later. Um, Carlos said, I just joined from Canada. Hello, Carlos. Um, do you think this will be of any help at all since some rules may vary between U.S. and Canada? Yeah, this home energy score is for Americans the American housing stock. It only works on U.S. housing stock, U.S. homes, homes in the United States. Um, Gerald asks, do you have to find the homeowner's utility bills for the last year? No, that's the amazing thing. You don't have to do, you don't have to use infrared, right? You don't have to use a blower door. You don't have to use any special equipment. You don't have to look at the utility bills. None of that. In and out, pretty quick. Just take a couple measurements, essentially. Um, James said there are six courses. Okay, so there are six courses you got to take. Um, Danielle, D Daniel, excuse me, asks, will this course apply to the upcoming degree? Um, Internet she is working on becoming a, an online university, and um, that's what Daniel's asking about. And um, no, the home energy score has nothing to do with um, the future work that we're doing as a university. 
Um, David asks, um, the program may work extremely well for mobile homes as well, maybe even quicker and easier to perform. Um, there are some areas of the country where there are a lot of mobile homes. Um, right, so you can't do it on a mobile home. Uh, mobile homes are not homes. Mobile homes are on wheels, on a metal frame, you can pull with a trailer. They're not homes. Modular homes, um, yep. Manufactured homes, yep. Mobile homes, anything on a wheel is not a home that could be scored. Um, so they're only homes, real homes. So what I did was, um, you may have seen this before, I have a website called Big Ben Inspections. It's not a real website. I don't do home inspections. This is just a, um, a teaching tool that I use on how to develop a, um, an effective website. So here's my home inspection business website, and my, I click on services, my services and fees, and I scroll down, and there's my fee, and it includes for free a home energy score. So you click that. And this is something you could do. And if you don't know how to develop, build, and maintain your own website, we show you how. And we show you how to build a website for free and maintain a website for free. Free means no cost. You don't buy websites anymore. Um, you can do it for free. And we have a one-hour course on how to build your own successful home inspection business website. And I teach it. And um, if you need that link, um, I can send it to you. But I just did this page this morning. And when you are a qualified home energy score assessor, you get this nice logo from the U.S. Department of Energy. And you put it everywhere. Um, our marketing department will customize any marketing piece for you, and we can put that on your business card, your flyers, your brochures, and I have it on my fake website. And what else do I want to show? Oh, and this is the domain um, for more information, for all the information you need. So it's nachi.org forward slash home energy score. nachi.org forward slash home energy score. Um, Gerald asks, um, how do you decide what energy savings to apply? Um, right. So the, you don't do that. So what you do as a home energy score assessor is you collect information that you already gather during a home inspection and you put it into the software, 40 pieces of data, and you put it into the home energy score software and it's basically size age, can't think of anything else, thickness of all the systems in the home, the size of the windows, the size of the house, um, the thickness of the insulation, the age of the heating and cooling system. Um, if you have more than one heating or cooling system, you add them all up into the software, click a button, it averages it all out for you. Those kind of things. You look for holes in the insulation, and you calculate the, the hole size, a bunch of measuring. You enter all that data into the software. It takes a couple minutes to enter it in. It takes about 45 minutes to gather it. If you're doing a home inspection already, you're already gathering the information. And then you enter the information into the software, you click a button, and it produces a home energy score. With the score, let's show produces the score, let's say it's a low score, and it tells you the recommendations. If the homeowner follows the recommendations made by the home energy score report, which comes from the US Department of Energy, that's unique to that home. These aren't general recommendations. It's unique to the home because you've gathered specific data from that home. They can get a better score. And if it was a real estate transaction, I would do something like this. So this is um, a sign that home inspectors stick in the front yard when they do a move-in certified inspection. Move-in certified is a program at moveincertified.com. You go there. It's a free program that InterNACHI members can participate in. And it, it's really a marketing tool as well because um, when this is in the front side, people see that this has been move-in certified and then you get a copy of your inspection report, 
which just generates a ton of, of jobs for you. Well, I would do a home energy score. I put the score right here, not the low one, the high one. They get it as best as possible to maybe put a 10 in there and ask for a copy of the home energy score report. Bink. Wonder if homes will sell faster if there was a big green 10, maybe an eight, a nine, a 10 in the front yard. Tell your real estate agent to give it a try or um, just offer it to your clients. They can put it in the sign later once they move in that my home scored a 10. There's a lot of creative things you could do um, with the Home Energy Score program. And again, you don't need an infrared camera, although it's kind of cool. Let's see. I'm going to show you this. So here's a, an infrared camera. You don't need infrared camera. Uh, you don't need a blower door. You don't need any special tools to do a home energy score. So this is the FLIR C2, um, our e-commerce partner, Inspector Outlet, sells these. And um, I just wanted to show it to you because it's an affordable way to get your foot in the door if you wanted to. Let's see here. So you go to inspectoroutlet.com and take a look at the um, infrared camera that's available. We just got a ton in. All right. Let's, um, any other questions? So David says, so you're not really doing a complete audit as with the blower door. Um, this is simpler and faster evaluation that provides the score relative to the software info. I see. Yep. This is, um, uh, there really isn't a demand for an energy audit, a full-blown energy audit with a blower door from um, regular consumers, homeowners. Um, homeowners just don't understand what the energy report um, does for them. They really can't understand it. It's too complicated. So this was an opportunity to make this complex issue of how to save energy into something very simple to understand. So the scale is from one to 10. Anybody can understand, um, you know, 10 is great, one is bad, there are no zeros. And, um, and you can improve your score. Like if you get a score and you want to do better, everyone can improve their score by following the recommendations. So what this can be used for is um, you can do a score on a home, let's say if you're in a program or you are desiring to really do a lot of home energy improvements, do a score in the beginning, it's a low score, a three. You come in with an energy auditor to show the contractor, home performance contractor, what to do, where to seal the energy leaks and insulate. The work is done by the home performance contractor. You do another energy audit afterwards to make sure that the home is safe because when you seal up a home, sometimes the combustion products are going in places where you don't want it to go. And then you do another energy score after that. And it should go from, let's say, a three to a seven. There should be a, a significant improvement in the home energy score that's easy to understand. That's what you can do to compare scores. Um, but yeah, a score has nothing to do. You don't need a blower door. Don't need an infrared. Um, you don't need any special tools. You need a measuring tape and the skill set of an internationally certified home energy inspector. That's what you really need to do a home energy score. And there's 200 million homes in the United States that haven't been scored. So there's a huge opportunity for you and you can get to know your neighbors and see how well your neighbor scores in comparison to other neighbors and how your house scores in comparison to your neighbor's house. There's your logo that you get when you become a home energy, uh, a qualified home energy score assessor. Um, how many pages is the output home energy report? Okay, it's three pages. This is the first page, main page with the score on it. Um, the other page is, there's the score page. 
The other page is home facts. That's the facts. That's the summary of all the information that you gathered. Pretty boring page. And then there's the recommendations. The recommendations on how to improve to get from a score three to a score seven. That's on the third page. And they have to do that with other links to more detailed information. Um, you know, some of the easiest things that a homeowner can do to save energy and save money and improve their score is to replace a manual thermostat with a programmable thermostat. Um, replace all of the old incandescent light bulbs with new LEDs. And those things, and maintain your heating system. Um, adjust the insulation where it's bare, add insulation. Um, ideally, you want to air seal and then add insulation. These are very easy things to do. I mean, you can buy the foam to air seal at Home Depot, buy all the light bulbs at Home Depot, or at Lowe's, or your local hardware store. Um, home improvement, home energy improvement tasks, just about any homeowner can do. Um, or there are a lot of contractors out there who are trained to do such things. And it's very easy to save energy and save money. And you can help your neighbor save $500 every month. Um, yeah, so we did the training. We did the marketing website. Um, will Internet Chief publish a how-to book? No, because the how-to is very easy. If you're a home energy inspector, a home inspector certified by InterNACHI to do home energy inspections. You have the skill set to do a home energy score. All you need to do is go through the training and prove to the Department of Energy that you can do a home energy score and participate in a quality assurance program. There's no book needed, although we do have a home maintenance book that talks to your client about how the home works and how to save energy. It's now that you've had a home inspection, it's a couple dollars, full color. And every chapter talks about the standards of practice, and also there's a, a couple chapters at the back about how to save energy. Um, Gerald, does it give you the cost of the improvement? Yep, based upon um, local, state, um, utility costs, and also, um, Estimates on how much this investment is going to cost in order to get your investment returned on you. And I wonder if this software provides information as to the cost. Yep. Uh, a couple more questions. Nope. Is that about it? Any more questions? Can I uh, give you a poll? I'd love to know this information. So have you heard of the Department of Energy's Home Energy Score prior to this live class? You can answer yes. You can answer no. You can answer I'm not sure. So have you ever heard before this live class, have you ever heard of the Home Energy Score? It's relatively new. And for Internet G, it's very new. We're just starting this national program. We did a couple pilots in the past. Um, most of you have already voted, so that's good. I think I'll close the poll in a couple seconds, so please, if you haven't voted, go ahead, click now, your answer. And so half of you said, yep, I heard about the home energy score before. The other half, nope, I haven't. And some of you are not sure. And then there's another poll, which is the most important poll. So are you interested in providing home energy score to your clients? Or maybe you just need more information. Or you want to call me up and ask questions and talk about it. Are you interested in providing home energy scores to your client? 62% um, of you are voting. 68% of you are voting. 70% of you are voting. Keep going. More than 72%. Couple more seconds. I'd love to know if you're interested in providing home energy scores after this class about the home energy score. Uh, almost 80% of you have voted. Keep going. Some of you who have not voted, please vote. Tell me if you're interested. Are you ready? Over 80% voted, 80, 
81% voted. All right, we'll close the poll and we'll share the results. Most of you are interested in providing home energy scores to your clients. That is awesome. So um, that is exactly what we wanted to know. Are you interested? Well, my job is, because you're interested, is to tell you how to do it. I want you, as an InterNACHI member, to be successful. That is my goal. That is our goal at InterNACHI. Everyone on staff at InterNACHI has the same goal for your success. So if you are interested in doing home energy scores, we're going to tell you exactly how to do it so that you're successful in doing them. And it's not just to be busy. You're not here to do home energy scores so you can fill up your calendar and stay busy. You're in this business to make not just a, a living. You're in the home inspection business to make a great living. And InterNACHI is going to provide you the tools that you need to make a great living in this business. And we're going to continue with the home energy score because you're interested. Just about most of you are interested in doing the score. All right. Are there any more questions? Uh, oh, Walter says, I'm BPI certified and infrared certified with John McKenna. Do I have to be a home inspector? You don't have to perform a home inspection. You don't have to market yourself as a home inspector. But essentially, you have to be a certified home inspector through InterNACHI to participate in this program. Because that's the skill set that you need to do a home energy score. A BPI, Building Performance Institute, is an energy auditor and a home performance contractor. A bit of a conflict of interest there. Well, too overqualified. Why? Because when you're BPI or ResNet or a Raider, um, you're an energy auditor with a blower door, a $10,000 blower door. You don't need that. You have an infrared camera. What do you need that for? Home energy score is for a quick evaluation of the assets of the home, entering the data, and punching out a simple, easy to understand score for all of your neighbors to understand. It's a one to 10 score. No blower door. Blower doors are not needed. Unless you're doing work, then we absolutely need a blower door to come in. Like I said before, you have to connect the dots. Home inspector does a home inspection, does a home energy score, low score, need an energy auditor, to tell the home performance contractor what to do. Home performance contractor does the work, followed up by the energy auditor again to make sure that the home is sealed well and it's safe. And then we do a score at the end to make sure we went from a low score to a high score. And that home inspector is the first one in and the last one out. And that's the one, that's the professional who's trusted. Home inspectors are the most trusted inspection professional on the planet. We do about 4 million home inspections every year. So homeowners all over the United States are hiring these trusted professionals, home inspectors, certified home inspectors, to give them incredible amount of information at the most critical time in their life when they're just about to purchase a home. And so we go in, first happy face to go in, and the last happy face that they see going out and we tell them, yep, we went from a three to a seven and we're going to save you a ton of energy so that the investment that you made in the middle to do the improvements are going to pay for itself in savings. That's how it's supposed to work. Uh, how many of those uh, on call are already HESS assessors through a different partner? That's uh, ResNet. Um, HESS. Home energy survey, something like that. Um, yeah, you can you could be a member of um, other organizations. There's no restriction on that. Um, anything that provides a differentiator for my company, Charles says. Yep. Ria, you mentioned that you could provide a home energy report with no score. Is that the case? When is that desirable? Um, that's the other software. I don't want to confuse the two. We're doing a home energy score. A home energy score is a score, and it's generated from software developed by the U.S. Department of Energy. InterNACHI home energy inspectors have this free software 
that produces a ton of information, videos and graphics, and it doesn't produce a score. So if you're interested in that, you can email us. Um, when will you repeat this training? We'll do more um, live webinars, and we'll get, uh, like I said, I'm not currently a home energy score assessor. I'm actually in the middle of the training myself because I'm going to do home energy scores throughout my entire neighborhood. I want to see what happens. I want to prove that it works. So as I go through the home energy scores training, the 3D house training that we showed you, yeah, um, we're going to show you what it looks like and how I'm doing and how it's going and what are my next steps. And when I get to the next step, we'll do another score webinar. Uh, they did an excellent job on the training, 3D training. It's pretty amazing. Um, which two softwares do you recommend? You mentioned Internet Cheese and then one from the DOE. Um, when did you start supporting DOE? Uh, we've always been a partner for the DOE. We've been doing... DOE pilots for years now. I think the first pilot was in 2011, 2010. There are other partners in Michigan. We were hooked up with the governor's office there and also the Colorado Energy Office doing pilots. Um, so we've always um, been interested because we know that um, the home inspector can be leveraged um, by um, entities like the Department of Energy and other local um nonprofits or utility companies in order to educate homeowners about how their home works and how to save energy. Um, so we've always been interested in this. We've invested a lot in home energy inspections and in home energy reports and now the home energy score, which is on a national program, national scale now. Any home inspector through InterNACHI, any member through InterNACHI can participate in the home energy score program. Um, in the United States, and it's all free and online. All right, I think that's it for the webinar. I want to respect your time. We're almost out of time. And if you need any more information, um, you should go to our contact page, which is at natchi.org forward slash contact. And there you'll find um, everyone at InterNACHI. There's our contact page, natchi.org forward slash contact, or for the program itself, natchi.org forward slash home energy score, one word, natchi.org forward, forward slash home energy score. My name is Ben. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. Thanks for coming to class. I'll see you next time.